Are you struggling to put it on your microwave trim kit? Today I'm going to show you how you can make it work. The height of this opening isn't tall enough for this trim kit. Right now, this drawer is blocking it and it's on top of this false front drawer right here. I need to lift this platform up and then I need to trim down this the false drawer. I'm going to use a pencil to mark this bottom lip right here, gently on the this drawer front, just so that way I can know how much higher I need to lift up this platform. From the top of this platform, measuring down to this line is an inch and an eighth. So that means I need to lift up this platform an inch and an eighth. Now it's time to pull out the microwave. Now I'm gonna pull out this metal pan. It's only held in by two screws right now, so really easy. It's taken me two years to get to this project, so there's a lot of dust. So I'm gonna clean this all up and move forward from there. So I took some measurements of what the inside of that cabinet space is gonna be. I jotted them down on this little pad. It's actually an erasable pad that I have stuck to my tape measure. Love it. Now I'm gonna rip down some of this three quarter inch plywood that I have here, and I'm gonna make a nice new little platform. I'm going to rip one right on an inch and eighth. That's going to be for the front piece running across the front of the platform. Then I'm going to rip one at three eighths of an inch um, thick, and that's going to run in the middle to keep everything nice and flat. Now I've got these two pieces cut. So this is that inch and eighth piece right here. This will go on the front. And then this is all upside down right now. So you can see this piece. See how they're the same thickness all along here? I'll be able to attach this one right about here, and that's all we have to do. So I'm gonna drill some pilot holes and start screwing this together. All right, here we are, back at the cabinet, and let's get this platform in here. Perfect. Now you're gonna see a couple screws in here just to hold the platform in place. All right, now we're gonna take this pan and put it back in. Now I'm gonna take the microwave and test fit it in here so I can know what I need to rip that false drawer front to. With that fitting, now what I can do is measure here and I'm showing just shy of three inches, probably two and 15 sixteenths. This is how the top of this attaches. So that false drawer front is sticking out right here. But right now, if I drive a screw in there, there is nothing for that screw to go into. So what I'm gonna do is I've ripped a couple pieces of scrap plywood that I'm gonna attach to the back of the false drawer front so that these can screw into it. I do something like this. Do these just attach onto the back? Don't do these flush. They have to be, they have to be down below this piece right here. Now what I'm doing, I'm just centering this on this cabinet. Now I'm gonna take one of these screws and magically get myself in here. This is where you find out if you're a flexible person or not. I'm not. Yeah, you would slide down there like that, huh? Oh, heavens, Betsy. What is wrong with everything about you? Remember how my back used to hurt all the time here? Are we ready to get it? I have to teach myself independence. Why did I just do it that way the first time? All right, ladies and gentlemen, mistakes were made. I let these little scrap pieces be too wide. So my microwave doesn't fit in there now. So I'm gonna use my jigsaw and I'm gonna trim them down. Don't make the same mistake that I made. Be better than me. With this in place and those little pieces in place, it is time to plug in the microwave. If you're awkward, like me, and just doing this by yourself, you just plug it in and then you just take it and you slide it back into place, like so. And now this is where you hope and you pray and maybe you cry, I don't know. Sometimes I cry. A couple blue episodes made my, my tear ducts water right up. Don't know if you've ever seen Cinderella Man. That is, that is quality entertainment right there. Shouldn't this be more flush? I feel like this should go back to oh, You're freaking, freaking crazy. Yeah. This has these little nubs right here. Oh. The back of this little guy right here has this little nub and this little nub that are hitting 
my plywood. So I've marked it, and now I have to cut those out. So, here we go. All right, now with those little nub sections cut out, everything should go smooth. So we're gonna put the microwave back in, and now we're going to add a couple little screws right here on this track. Keep the microwave from sliding out. You can do four. I'm just gonna do two because I'm an American and I do what I want when I want. Look at that, you little stumpy nubs. So we've got that little shindig on there. I'm gonna use some one inch drywall screws because I bought this trim kit two years ago and the screws that came with it, I lost. So one inch drywall screws for the win. It's done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.